to see if this sticks, let's fill up the chickens. <laughs> We've also got some fruit because you know Mama Day is looking after the health of us here. Because yeah. munchies. And munchies. So let's just make you all wait for a moment yeah, while we see that we're not fucking up our shit. Are we sticking? Are we sticking? Yeah. Yay! Okay, let me say this with a mouthful of food. Welcome to the hot box show for the fourth attempt. <laughs> This is Buzz, Robin, B Rad, and Joe. Oh, and as always, we'll be speaking. Lang dang. 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 Cool, man. Oh, it's not gonna lie. I'm usually pretty baked by now, but because we've been redoing this over and over, I'm gonna have to play some catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened there? YouTube kicked us in the balls, eh? So, we're back on Facebook for now. Yeah, yeah YouTube yeah. is not Ooh. playing nicely with us these days. That's the live one. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Probably should not put that on, otherwise we're going to get feedback. I just wanted to make sure it's the right one so I can share it. <laughs> you know how people are when you share something that's wrong, there's like a million people waiting to tell you they want to be the first one to tell you that like something is wrong, it's not working. It's like when you break the internet. It's 404-ing, it's giving me the T-Rex arms. Uh, <laughs> or some shit, eh? <laughs> so... <laughs> Before we kick thing off, things off with the news, um, I want to kick things off with a question. The dreaded druggies. Now, this is something I am a chronic sufferer of. Hence me always having a sippy nearby. Because I need a sippy to go with my weed. So I suffer from druggies terribly. Do you guys ever get druggies? You can't even uh, say druggies now. <laughs> no, I, <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it depends. I guess sometimes I do. I think... Um, when I'm smoking in a casual situation mm -hmm. and with friends, probably not so much. Yeah. But when it's in a situation where, like, you've smoked a joint and then you walk into a shopping mall and everything's like clean and sterile, and you know you that feeling where you're Ooh, like, I'm so yes. high, and Shit. and then you hear it and then you really realize how dry your mouth is. Yes, yes. Oh, I know that. Because you're walking around like Darth Vader, like a fucking mouth eater from Brackbank, going. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Game fly <laughs> sucking in and out in the fucking gravity of your breath. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So guys, use at home. Any cures for the jerkies? What's your favorite cure? Me, I like a sippy. Hey, I don't mind a bit of Oros or something like that. That always helps me. But I know Lank Oaks with the Wilson's Triple X. Some Oaks with the Sugars or the Smoothies. Mm -hmm. What's your preferred cure so for I'm a, I'm a chewing gum chick. Yeah. Or fruit, if I can, if it's around, because then it's obviously then it's the juicy and it's the sweet and it's like, it's a whole experience, you know. Yeah, you're not just water. sorting out jerkies, you, you're giving yourself like a. What are you, you need water, but it doesn't help at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, After like the second or third cup. No. <laughs> Sour sweets, I find also because it activates that thing. Okay. Yeah. It kind of it keeps. So you keep saying candy, candy at candy. me, basically. Be red. You say water. water all the yeah. way, eh? Okay. Works for me, hey. I think, I, do you know what I do is there is um, an organic, it's just 100% frozen orange juice. I think it's Sol, sol something. Yeah. Solelo or some shit. No, okay, but it's not the, the ones you're thinking of, I'm sure. Um, but it's literally 100% orange juice. But I, and that fine, I actually find not only does it help the dry mouth, but it also sobers me up a lot. Yes. So, the but I guess C. that's a vitamin C. Yeah, yeah but yeah. the... I think frozen berries as well, like frozen blueberries. Mm. And then you get a purple tongue and then... <laughs> Wait now, iced coffee. Oh, mm. you... Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like I want to get jerkies just to call just these things up. Right? Iced coffee also nails it quite nicely. So I came across a story in Herb.co and they were saying, you know, in America and the UK, you all call it cotton mouth. Cotton yeah, it's just plain old jerkies. <laughs> I think there's probably even a sweet called Druckies locally. If there isn't, there should be one. Yes. <laughs> I'd buy that sweet. There must be. So what they're saying, their top tips, right up there with Joe, they tune sour candy. Um, mm. They say slowly drink water through a straw. So be red. Fuck, this is almost in order. 
Did you say a coffee thing? No, Joe said the coffee no, I said thing. iced oh, coffee. Because the yeah. next thing on you is they actually say avoid caffeine in most teas. Sure. Caffeine oh, dehydrates caffeine. you so much. I know, I can attest to this because I give up coffee regularly. <laughs> More than once. But the moment I start drinking coffee again, I can go a day or two. And then when I start going on to two, three, four coffees, maybe partnered with smoking weed, I don't know. Um, but I land up, I, my skin gets dry and I literally on my nose, I get dry skin. That's sure. it. And I, so that's when I know I'm like, oh, I have to give up coffee. No, I gave up coffee yeah. once. It was like the worst four hours of my life. Uh, <laughs> and probably the worst four hours of everyone else around your life. life. <laughs> sorry, kids. I'm so sorry. So what do you think is more coffee. addictive? Caffeine or weed? Caffeine. caffeine. <laughs> Dude, especially if you've got so. sugar in there. Yeah. Wow, the list of, uh, I've never been hooked on caffeine. Eh? But according to Professor Nutt's scale of harms, so caffeine is way weed. up there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, well, I guess I instinctively... Yeah. Because also, sugar. did you grow up, like, we watch TV growing up, and all the lighties drink coffee and that. But when you were lighties, would your parents let you drink coffee no. as a kid? Mm. We never had that locally, yeah. eh? Yeah. 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 In America, it's They weren't allowed until how old? 15? Like, 16? You were 16, well, 17. They weren't like allowed Coca-Cola or coffee because yeah. no child needs fucking caffeine and sugar. Mm. Yeah. They've got enough natural energy. We were yes, allowed, yeah. if we were given Coca-Cola or something, uh, it was like... Down. Glass. Down. Mm. No, it's still here on mine. Is it? Eh? Yeah. It so we've got people saying, uh, Amy oh, saying yeah. coconut sparkling water works for her. Okay. Uh, ice cold co uh, can of Coca Cola mm. from Arnu. Quentin mm. mm. says fruit juice. Bjorn says keeps tic tacs on you at all times. Quentin, <laughs> <laughs> so dry you can drink paper. <laughs> 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 it's, you know what? It's not when you lick your Rizzler, it's when your Rizzler licks you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've all been there. Yeah. You can't lick the So we're still crazy. Um, Sorry, actually, having a bit of a bump, so I'm just checking and touching base here with the tech hoax. It's nice to be in front of the. We're still going here. Yeah, we're, we're still, still going. going. Okay, okay, cool. Keeping an eye, keeping it's an eye just, an eye we're getting so awkward, awesome. awkward, we're not sure whether to go all the way and commit <laughs> or just stick with the tip for now, so. <laughs> So we still got the handbrake on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oaks, last week's episode for the handbrake story. <laughs> Except it's going to work. Okay, that's my new <coughs> So this article also tunes. Nose breathe. So we were saying earlier, mm -hmm. don't walk around like a mongoloid catching flies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nose breathe. Gum. One of yeah. you all just yeah, said gum. Yeah. Let's say avoid alcohol. Duh. Duh. But it's also so fun getting high and drunk. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, I like it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not so much on the drinking anymore. No, anyway, but, but yes, it was fun at one point. Uh, no, because greenies are not no, fun. but you, but this is the point. You end up drinking a bit. You, you, glass you before drink glass. Glass? Yeah, here yeah. yeah. we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, B red, say it. Say the oath of the grass ass thing quickly. Grass before glass. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I laughed so loud. <laughs> B Red was so caught in the headlights. What's that saying? I can never remember it. How does the saying go? It's just grass before glass. Yeah. I don't know. Grass. You got to smoke before you drink. Okay. Then you're not going to get the green. But isn't there a bit about on your ass as well? I oh, know that's asses. Glasses, asses. Tables are made for asses and. <laughs> no, that one's gone. Anyway, they also. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Baron or uh, one of those places, I'm sure we'll find someone who can tell us. <laughs> well, I'll pass out on that one. Eh? They say use saline to hydrate your nose. Saline? Who is sniffing oh, saline when they don't? Yeah, well, it's a bit of a granny move. I've got some saline here, my boy, <laughs> for your doogies. This is a very preemptive move, the next one. You have to be such a responsible stoner. Because when I'm drug, I ain't got time to do this next one. They say turn on a humidifier. And what, stick your tongue out? <laughs> like, <laughs> wait for it. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? In the garden. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you've got to have one of those as well. Expensive. Yeah, and they are expensive. Yeah, five and also you've got to fucking wait five minutes for humidity to fucking climb. No, man, who's got the time? No, but maybe if you know you're going to get the jerkies, you know if you've opened up your wrist and your wrist says 30% forecast tonight of droogies, 
Mm-hmm. Then God put on your humidifier. Your, your so he has a science yeah. question. <laughs> he has a science question. If it's a humidity thing, or do do you always in like at the coast, Durban, Cape Town, do you get less strokes than we do in Durban? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, like let us know. Ooh, let that's us that's, know. that's that's the puff tech. That is that is not um. Uh, what is the, the um. We have an actual human being making puffing for us, yes. It's not CGI, that's the Yeah, that, that's CGI, yeah, <laughs> I am a bit so no, good. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> so, they also, now, they say, suck on a lemon. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure. Because it's, it's the sour. Because that will straight away just get your salivary glands working. and Pineapple will do the same yeah. and so will strawberries. So yeah. we can test it out through the... Uh, yeah, but now there's a contradiction because they say you must do the lemon, which is going to rehydrate you, but they say you mustn't do the alcohol. So what happens to the tequila? And the salt. Tequila will definitely work, I'm sure. <laughs> and then because they're stupid fucking stoners, these oaks, just like us, they say take small sips of water. But I feel like they said that earlier, but through a straw. Oh, but through a straw. Tech, Dave wants to know what you're smoking, bro. <coughs> farmer's jar. So, uh, something from the farmer's jar. There we go, Dave. <laughs> How's it, Daniel? Uh, excellent. I feel like I need to smoke something, but I'm... This is good. Like no, it's desert. fine. Maybe can I hit this little bun? Yeah, no, can you it Makes me it's feel got like water in it though. I uh, don't have the email. Wait, I've got water here. Oh, it needs so little. Oh, the the thing else that I would need. So, so if you need to dab this, this. No, I dabbed. How many dabs? Like, dude, I lost. Don't it. don't say anything yet. Shh. We're not talking about that, guys. Yet. Stay tuned. We're gonna talk about the amber cup. But before we get there, like, share, subscribe. So I need a chance to roll a joint. And I'm going to need you all to carry this next bit and hypothesize your hearts out. Because I think it was this Sunday night. At like 10 o'clock at night, I got a WhatsApp message. I'm not going to say where it's from, but it's from a real deal production company that does like landscaping and that for commercials and international movies and local content deluxe. They're legit as fuck, these guys. And I'm just going to read this out. It says, hi, apologies to to disturb you on a Sunday. I'm a landscaper for a film and have been asked to grow a 2,000 square foot field of hemp in the Western Cape. What's the 10,000 plants you wanted? That's it. It's for a movie and they're only here for 9 to 10 days. Well, no, so they're only here for, for 9 days from the 10th of December. So they're here for a week and a half. Unfortunately, they, they cannot travel to KZN or anywhere else. They were hoping to have it all 3 meters tall. I know, this is a mammoth ask. They were exploring other options. As they do not realize, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so what these oaks so basically cool. said is they came to me and they said, we need by the 10th of December, 10,000 hemp plants, at least three meters tall, that you need to grow wherever the fuck, <coughs> transport to the Western Cape or Eastern Cape or wherever, and keep alive there for another 10 days, and then do what with after, I don't know. Give to <laughs> <laughs> The technical oaks say these oaks must throw Thundeka. Let's not say too much, they will speak on and things there too. <laughs> <laughs> so, oaks, like, you know, if, if you know anybody who's got 10,000 plants, like, just lying around, oh, spare. Yeah, sure. well, you know, yeah. drop That's us a fucking meters. email, yeah. hotbox at gmail. What's it? What's it? Up. I mean, we're not opposed to making helping a guy make a connection, but I don't know how easy that's going to be to find. People are going to be a little bit precious about ten thousand plants. So you got to crowdfund it. <laughs> yeah. And also, is it even? And what's the deadline? So those things need to the be like halfway already at least minimum. They need to be three December. meters and there by the 9th of December. Yeah. From, so basically, from when they It'll messaged me, it was two months. Mm. Two months. So to grow ten thousand plants. To the ceiling. Oh. As high I mean, as your roof. It's ambitious. I wonder if anybody, anybody in, the, in the in the uh, comments, do you no, know where we can get ten thousand plants? Yes. Is it even possible? Ten thousand in two months, three meters high. No, yeah, man. Let's see it. Yes. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm not sure. Hey. Sorry, we're getting a phone call on our own <laughs> camera, yeah? <laughs> it's that oak about the 10,000 plants. <laughs> now drop us an email if you know where we can get them, though. So be... I don't want to be mean. I, 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 my, my response to this oak was two words. Mm. No chance. 
Mine would have been three words. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 with every resource available, think you could get them three meters tall in that time. But also remember, if we were to grow them like hemp, these are saying hemp, they're not saying they want Christmas tree wheat plants. They say hey, we want hemp, so we would grow it close together, so it would also stretch yeah. very quickly. It would. Maybe because two meters, max in two months. Yeah. Yeah. Because the first month, it's only this big. Yeah. So now it has to go from there to three meters, that's a season. Yeah, yeah. that is. It's a season. That is. It takes a season. Mm -hmm. And how the fuck would you get them there? Well, I mean, they have to find a place in Cape Town where it is in the ground. I can only imagine. I, I, can I don't think you can really grow it there. I don't think you can grow it at the set. It's got to be grown, put in, and then taken out. the set. You know, they must take the set to the location. I mean, dudes, like, give and take. Fuck. Yeah. This is the movies, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Transport in there, would you have to buy them tickets on the fucking Greyhound bus? Fucking 10,000 cars because you can't transport bulk because one plant of officer is reasonable. Yeah. A truck, and also your truck can't get too hot because they'll work. But also, could you imagine what a cut thing this would be? So you're growing your 10,000 hemp plants, these are boys and girls mixed. Can you imagine? up along the way Ooh. you would be like a puss and just then now when you're transporting it it's yeah. like this little sprinkling of dust all the way along no that would be terrible for genetics because because oh, oh, because be fucking, i'm not a grower but i at least know that much yeah. yes they would have to get permission way. from someone in government and there would have to be this fucking sign stamped like with a bodyguard with an AK-47 kind of thing with you. No. Get the army sure. to escort you, then the cops know they can't rape you. Sure. Get the army involved, <laughs> okay. I don't know, I'm thinking on my feet though. Do we even have an army still? Yeah, I think well, they'd be pretty happy to guard civilians. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I think they'd be pretty happy to guard some weed, actually. Um, yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah, um, yeah. Less uh, dangerous. Yeah. People on here come. Well, you never know. I mean, I suppose if it's like that, it's just more hemp style. It's not really like no one who's going to come <coughs> for it. Like. Yeah. Mm. Who's going to come for it? Okay, cool. So I think we all got tired of that one quickly. Let's move on to our next story of the week. This one was relevant. This is a local story. Okay. Uh, I heard it on 702 yesterday. Boring admission, but it was anything dialing in. And the one I'm reading is of Eyewitness News. It says, Cannabis possession cases to be reviewed. This follows the Constitutional Court's ruling last month to decriminalize the private consumption and cultivation of cannabis. Uh, there, is good, there is good news for those facing trial for being in possession of marijuana. Hawke's boss, Godfrey Labia, has told Parliament all cases of marijuana possession will be reviewed. <clears throat> what he then goes on to say is basically so they're going to take a look at the cases that happened where people got arrested before the judgment mm -hmm. and they're going to say maybe we don't need to prosecute these people it's just a, a review thing but they're saying yeah. guys who got caught for dealing yeah. are still going to yeah. be prosecuted yeah. that's what i understood yes yeah, yeah i read I that article and i understood the same mm. uh, so yeah the cases of possession will then sort of fall away and deal how in. far back i mean because what is the backlog of cases that they still have to deal with are we talking how many years and so question. does the article i, I haven't read the article just the current so. cases because yeah, I think once you've got cases. your admission of guilt or you've been found guilty that's but it you have to wait 10 years so it would go to all the last <coughs> cases all the yeah. cases that haven't been concluded yet yeah. even if it's all three years old because some of them I imagine... Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 get, I guess it doesn't... Longer. Cases don't get concluded in a linear... Yeah, you've as long got as the one case started, is not closed. closed. And then you've got one that started and only closes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I get what you are saying as well, is then, wouldn't the next thing be to say guys who've got records for possession yeah, only exposed. charges? Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. what we're going to be going into with the trial of the plant part two. Is this is part of what we're fighting for, is that records must be cleared, people must be let out of jail... 
um, mm -hmm. for, for cannabis charges because it's just ridiculous to be in jail for that. It, yeah, yeah, it is just purely cannabis. Obviously, it's not like cannabis and, and, and. Mm -hmm. You've got yeah, other charges, so it's still mm -hmm. stand. Obviously. You're still, you know, other stupid <laughs> still a bad person in, in that respect. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> but I don't know about the sound, though. They say it's a bit choppy, and we do have a dog um, snoring over here. I don't Gently. know if that's what it is. <laughs> it is a bit choppy. Well, no one wants to know he's flying to Durban. Can he take three kilos on the plane? Bro, you know, maybe if you put it in your hand luggage that, you know, stays with you. The wheelie bag. Uh, if you're going to be trying, <laughs> I don't know. Sounds sound like it. Oh, uh, it's it's must squeeze. They must go do their thing. Everyone's a bit early. It's such an awkward night tonight. It's been <laughs> like, is it like a fucking full moon or something, hey? New moon, I think. I don't know what it is. Dark. I'm I'm still looked. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe we need to smudge the studio house. with some fucking sage <laughs> or something. Man. I smudged my whole house like two days ago. What with the king size? No, I got a smudge stick that it's it, what's it called? M. So that. In Pepe, that's mm, it, the sage. Okay. Yeah, the sort of rural sage. I bought it I in Limpopo. Sage, yeah. I was at this um, eco village there. Oh, it's lovely stuff. Really, really yeah. is lovely stuff. I've got that to put that as well. Mm. All over. You can get it anywhere. Mm. Now you can't. Mm. Is it? Well, I think this might need to come be a guest. Because you know, know you're not allowed to transport it. Okay. Oh. But you must speak loud so that people can hear you Why on the cut mic, on the skittish mic. Why can't you transport it? It's also a prohibited substance, actually. Same with Buchu. So really? I didn't know that. <laughs> so when it, so here's me driving, like going, oh, I'm not going to get stopped for weed, the but they would have stopped have like me for most magic sticks, crystals. That no, like be. the plant. I forgot the name now. It's mm -hmm. Come yeah. from boss or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So literally. Yeah, you're not allowed to. If they catch you with a bucket load full, it's big trouble. So okay. I was worried about sure. them, like. You know, so like, oh, they just make the weed, sticks no and worried. stack it with other stuff. Wow, okay. Okay. Welcome to the Impopo podcast. Oh. The Impopo podcast. It's another plant that needs to be freed, apparently. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. It's next on the list after the mushrooms. After the mushrooms, eh? <laughs> Free the Impopo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, are you watching? <laughs> oh, I love it. So, we got a bit cock teased on this story. Mm. So we did the whole driving thing last week, and I thought this week the results were coming out. Yes. But it seems so we only got halfway there. Results. Yeah, because no. you you were there, hey? Yeah. But you weren't here last week's show, were you? No. No. I was behind, behind the, the scenes. Gems. I was working on stuff behind the scenes last mm. week's show. Yeah. Okay, so just to tell you what all went down, because I've got to ask you a question in time for when this eventually comes out, is October twenty seventh apparently. October 20 on Ignition October TV. October 27th on Ignition oh, Channel. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So what we did is last week we went and did a driving thing at Gerotech in a George VW Amarok. Gerotech. I don't know. I didn't know. G-E-R-O. Gerotech. What were you calling it? Gerotech. I was spelling it out for people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I don't know how to say this. It's G-E-R-O-Tech. What are you saying? G -E Gerotech. <laughs> 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 So we went and we did this thing to see if driving under the influence of weed is worse, better, or the same. And we anticipated the results were all going to come out today in this business day thing. So I had this whole Top Gear thing planned. But it turned out that they just basically teased us a little more. Maybe because there's like a bit of hype around this. But let me, let me read out what they said. So they ran this in the business day and it said business live. Uh, Dache and driving, do they mix? With marijuana's recent legalization SA, volunteers took part in a test to see how the drug impairs driver ability. Dacha may be used in the privacy of your home, but it may be used in the privacy of your car? Question mark. And does being high make you a worse driver? After the Constitutional Court's momentous September 18 ruling, effectively decriminalizing the private use of cannabis in SA, it raised the prospect of more people driving under the influence of the drug. Would the ruling affect road safety as a newly emboldened Dacher users come out of the closet and drive around stoned? To try to answer the question, pro-cannabis lobbyist, Fields of Green for All, shout out Fields of Green, uh, lost my spot, set out to determine the effects of driving under the influence of cannabis. They set up a driving experiment at a closed test facility in which volunteers drove under the influence of cannabis. 
And then basically what they did is they tested, they tested like 20 of us or 15 or whatever. 12. 12, and it was a broad band of users. <laughs> 20, 15, 12. No, they were talking about cannabis and Three. <laughs> Methemetics. <laughs> we had this discussion last week. No to Methemetics. So they did us, they tested us sober, and then they tested us slightly high, and then they tested us properly high. And this was people who didn't smoke and, and, and. So they haven't given us the results yet, but they said surprisingly, some people drove faster while stoned. Mm -hmm. But one of the guys was a motoring journal. A professional motoring yeah. journal. Yeah. And he's not a smoker, and he had a toke, and then he drove way slower. Yes. <laughs> and what they also perceived is, yeah, so, exactly. it wasn't just about speed, I think, because we were having this chat before, they, mm. they put out all these little cones. That's how you react. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's yeah. Yeah, and, and it's concentration, the water. The water, but, and, oh, sure. and an automatic car. <laughs> four four. Yeah. yeah, I think the automatic car was also a tough thing at the handbrake, but again, <laughs> Last week's show. <laughs> so we're getting this thing, but we also we had the debate with ourselves because also we made the mistake of gamifying this because there was no risk. You couldn't really fuck up. The car was too safe. It was just cones. So if they put children or little kittens whose tails had been nailed into the ground so they couldn't run away, I think we would have driven a lot safer because they said in the first round between all the people we killed one child. Yes. But they said at the end. On the last lap, because when we were all mega baked, we killed five children. Oh, so I didn't kill any children. I definitely did not. Well, I know if I did, I didn't stop. I didn't run, guys. So. It's a bigger car than I was used to driving though as well. I've never driven really I a bigger car. car. But it was a I big car. My zone in a 4x4. But I didn't hit any children, so mm. I mean, I'm yeah, just man. not making excuses for anyone that did hit child. So while we all wait now even longer for these results to come out, because I am super keen, I actually, personally, I don't give a fuck about the whether I was faster or slower because I didn't kill anyone. But I am curious to see between soberest to maximum grillagist, wherever, who got the fastest lap. The little boy in me wants to see between all these oaks in the back row oh, yeah. and all of y'all and the oaks that went down with us and even the motoring journal, <laughs> who cooked the goose the best? And look, I think you guys all went faster than us girls, so I, I think you can just take us right out of the equation, especially me, I'm going to bag slowest. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why, right I wonder, no, you know. Yeah, I'll own it, proudly. So before we hear the results, I'll try to get everyone to commit. Everyone's committed on camera already, so mm. we've got some record. So between your sober lap and your maximum stone lap do you think you went faster slower or the same uh, it's difficult because the lap in between was like even that lap no, I, no. I feel like no between the first and the last lap could have been pretty similar i think maybe the last lap purely just because I'd done it already once or twice, mm. that I would be a bit faster in the third lap. Yeah. I think they touched on that in the article as well, saying we got used to the uh, I did feel quite slow the course, last lap. And so we were a bit more comfortable with... Yeah. So but we, I think I did finish we it doing. and I was like, I, that felt slow, but it controlled. Yeah. So, faster, slow at the same. So same. I think I think slightly faster, yeah. Slightly faster. So this, so the guy, because I anticipated I we would learn the track in the car, so we'd probably yeah. get better in that aspect, mm -hmm. and we'd have the weirdness either countering it or enhancing it. Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. this guy said is that in general, from when Oak started this course the first time to doing their third lap, they would improve by about three seconds. Mm -hmm. So we know that's the benchmark sober. Yeah. That we need to improve by three seconds. So I think stay tuned. You're just doing it so bad. Yeah, <laughs> to find out. And I'm hoping Ignition TV, I don't want to rip off their content. I don't think we'll be able to broadcast any of their inserts. But we're going to hold our breath for the results. Does anyone here actually have DSTV? I don't think any of us have DSTV. <laughs> That's just we're an issue. DSTV. No. So I'm going to watch this <laughs> in the steers. We're gonna, yeah, we're yeah. going to have to ask them to send us a copy, bro. <laughs> Sorry, we don't need the, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can ask them. Yeah. That would be nice. Martin yeah. Latham says uh, he knows a few people who only passed their driving test because they got high as a kite beforehand. Oh, but he know. doesn't like driving baked so much. He, he likes hot boxing in the car but not driving afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Now you need to get fresh air after the hot box and sort of clear your head and get yourself into the right space. So, have we got Jules on? Uh, not no. Yet. no. Mm -hmm. If it's not going to happen because of the guys, I'm not going to lie. I've got a time crisis going on here, 
Time Crisis 2. So we've probably got about, about another 10 minutes, 15 best case, and then we're going to sign out. Okay. So, the Amber Cup. Mm. Ooh. 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 Mickey, if you're watching, please don't hate us for what we're about to talk about. Because this did make some oaks battered. Oh, did Mickey get battered? No, not Mickey, but there were some oaks online who were a little bit battered, and no, I can no, understand Bryce, you why. Know what, hey? It was a Fields of Green initiative. You, you want to belong to the Green Network if you want to be a part of all of this shit. Yeah, so let's tell people the Amber Cup. So, guys, this was kind of a small celebration. We've been quietly speaking about it for a while, but it was quite spontaneous that we actually did it. So, we decided after the Constitutional Court ruling, just as a celebration in Fields of Green, and we apologize that you didn't share about this. But this was us kicking the tires. Like the first time I go the distance with my squeeze, we don't necessarily need you there to watch it. But now that we've got it down, I'm very comfortable with it. Yeah. So what we did is we had, this not, I'm not saying it's the first, I'm not saying it's the SA Championship, I'm not saying it's the best, but we had our first ever dad cup called the Amber Cup. The Saturday. And we had the seven deadly dabs that you could come, spend the day dabbing your fucking heart out, and then mm -hmm. vote, and then there was a small trophy for the winner. Mm -hmm. And it was about 150 people, cool tunes, cool vibes, very cool yeah, charts. Yeah. And from what cool I understand, you Chetty's based with the dabs, eh? Yeah, so I paced myself through the day because I wanted to have like a half hour break between each one. Did you do them all in the Clear the palette, and yeah, okay. I had to go back three times to the one place because there was the same people sitting <laughs> at the table. Eventually, I was just like, <coughs> My turn. don't mind if some other people have a turn here because uh, I've got places to be in the bar to run. <laughs> yeah, because when I'd seen you, you hadn't even had one yet. And yeah. then it was like, no. And it was good. like every half hour, so I could cleanse the palate and feel the yeah, difference cool. between and give it like okay. a fair judgment, you know. If yeah. we're judging it, you want to do it fairly, right? Yeah. 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 After the announcement, I went to the winner's table and I had, I don't know, Six, seven in a row. Oh. Really? I did. Of the winners? I dabbed myself. Yeah. Paralytic? Not paralytic, no. I was completely aware of what I was doing. Okay. I Robin, did you do all seven? Absolutely. Yeah, so I was on a time limit because I was driving to Pretoria. Well, at least I knew I could drive like relatively okay. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was driving to Pretoria. I had the show we were driving to Secunda later that day. So oh, right. I was like, cool, I'm going in the band van. I'm going to get super grilled. Those munchies, um, I think Joe, the band, would say thank you as well. Those munchies went around the band that I got from Oh, band. nice. But I did. Um, all seven dabs with Luca as well in like what two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. It was it was good. So, but uh, what I liked with the ratings is that um, because obviously someone like me, I couldn't be here the whole day, yeah. so I couldn't do what you did in terms of like having a, a break and sort of savoring your palate. Um, but I liked that the ratings were a lot. You know, it wasn't all just about potency, which is very kind of um, qual qualitative. It's not a quantitative measurement. Whereas all the other ones, the look, it's all like there and then you're rating it and going yes. And it can be hard to come. It can be hard to judge potency of a dab in a short <coughs> period where you're doing a whole bunch because then it does sort of blur the line yeah. a bit. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but but the, the taste and everything else. You, oh, yeah. Man. Definitely. It's also